Cassie Deputy with DeputyTribe.com. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to have a review on Craigle Publishing's books. And here they are. So we will talk about these right after this. DeputyTribe.com. Thanks for joining us. If you're new here, thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. Go ahead and click subscribe in the area below and give this video a thumbs up. Um, today we're going to be reviewing Craigle Publishing's Gold Town Beginning series. Now there's two books here. The first one is called Gem Strikes Gold and the second one is called Gem's Frog Fiasco. Now, these books are part of a new series by Craigle Publishing that are for boys ages 4 to 8. They're pretty easy readers. Um, here's kind of what the text looks like with pictures. They're short chapters. The chapters are about 4 to 5 pages long, as you can see. And the entire book is about 70 to 80 pages long, each of them. Now, these are put on by a company that values Christian morals and character. So the characters are going to face situations that are character building situations. They're going to face things like dealing with bullies, lying, anger, dealing with um, communication issues between other characters. So these are just really good books to read and to see how the characters interact with other characters and learn what works, what doesn't work, what's acceptable, what's unacceptable. So how we use these, I had my oldest, one of my oldest daughters, read the first book to my six-year-old son. This was above his reading level, um, but this was below hers. So I would put this at about an age seven or eight as a perfect reading level. And then she went ahead and read this book on her own. So they're gonna pop on here and they are gonna tell you what they thought about these books. No, Ellie shouted. Go away, you big meanie. <laughs> Will reached into the wagon. Don't touch those pies, Jem yelled. Bible verses about beginning to kind flew out of Jem's head. He pushed Will away from the wagon. Hey, Will dropped the cloth and gave Jem. Hello, my name is. Alicia Deputy, and I'm going to be telling you about Jem's Frog Fiasco. Hello, my name is Elias. Today I'll be talking about Jem Strikes Gold. This book was about Jem and Ellie and a dog named Golden Nugget and this other person named Miss Strike, Mom and Pa too, and about this mean dude named Will. Who always be rude to Jem and Ellie. Jem, when the when Jem was pulling the wagon, Will came and pushed Jem on the pies. Jem and Ellie were delivering pies for the parents, and every single year I think they delivered every day. Cause the living pies is I think the choice. As they were delivering pies. Will came and kept being a bully to them every time he sees them. Wow. By, by being rude and like pushing them and also saying mean things. They saw, they found Strike Star. Jem and Ellie wanted it, but Ma kept saying no about them keeping it. One time the dog Will was being mean so the dog bit his pants and then he was so scared he ran away and then he told his he told ma about it ma said they could keep the dog my favorite part was the one i just talked about what was it this one when the dog bit will's pants <laughs> because will kept being a bully to them and then when they last time delivered some things, Will was being mean again, so the dog bit his pants. In Jem's frog fiasco, Jem wants to 
find a way to make money so that he can feed his dog, his new dog. He can't find enough gold, and so he decides that he's going to find a job. So when he's delivering pies, he goes to the shop owner and asks him if he can find it, if he can help him find a job. Shop owner said that he needed Jem to catch frogs, to catch bullfrogs so that he can put frog legs on his menu. And Jem and Ellie, as soon as they're done delivering pies, go down to Cripple Creek and try to find some frogs. Ellie finds a huge one and she tries to catch it and it bites her. Jem getting mad at his sister for scaring away all of the frogs and he tells that her to go home and then she gets lost and he can't find her and he knows it's all his fault because his mom told him that he needed to take care of her. That helped me a lot because I have a hard time with my anger as well. Whenever I get mad, I just yell and hit. So this helped a lot. After he found Ellie, he watched her and let her help him without getting angry and yelling. Main issue in this in Gem Strikes Gold was Bill was being a bully and Bill was being a bully and Gem had a hard time not trying to fight, trying not to fight him. But after he went through the adventure with Nugget, he didn't really have to worry about Will because Nugget helped him not be scared of Will and what Will could do to him. Just because R Will had a lot of money didn't mean that he could boss them around. And I think other kids should read this book because it's really fun and it, it's not very long either. Yeah, this is like... I read this whole one day. I read every single day when we do school and after lunch, Harvard and Lisa and Haven or mom read this to me. And I love this book. I would think this is the funnest book I read. Bye! I couldn't tell mom he was hungry. She would find out that he had given the dog his cornbread. So Jem told his belly to be quiet. And he ran the rest of the way home. <laughs> he told his belly to be quiet. <laughs> Mama stood waiting next to the wagon. Next to the wagon. So the last thing I want to mention about um, this series here is that it is based in California in 1859, which was when the gold rush was happening and the pioneers were living in tents and canvases and things like that. So there's a lot of historical content in these books, but what they offer at Kriegel Publishing is actually study guides that go along with the books. Now these study guides include comprehension questions, vocabulary words, um, there's some maps in here where you can map out kind of where the gold rush took place and you can really um, turn this into a whole unit study. There's maps explaining where um, what a gold claim is and where how their camp was kind of laid out so you can get a better idea of what's going on in the story. Um, there's puzzles such as mazes. There's, um, like I said, a lot of comprehension questions. So for my younger kids, they were able to answer the comprehension questions pretty much only, where my older kids could have participated in some of this other stuff. Here it talks about panning for gold, and there's certain sentences that they can cut out and glue in order. So there's a lot of really fun, useful things in these study guides that can go along with the books. So check those out. Thanks for watching this review. I hope that this gave you some information on these books. Um, the quality of these is really good. We've had books from Craigle Publishing before, and although they are soft cover and glossy, they do um, hold up over a, a tremendous amount of reading and time. Um, the other books that I have, my three oldest girls have read over and over and over, and they're still in really good quality and condition. So, I hope that this review gives you some good insights as to if these books are a good fit for your family. If you're interested in Craigle Publishing, go ahead and check out the link in the description below. I will also include the links to each of these books individually, so you can check that out. Don't forget to visit DeputyTribe.com and subscribe to our monthly newsletter. 
for tips and encouragement on homeschooling and homemaking and being a mom and finding really cool reviews on products like these, um, holistic living, whole food eating, all that type of stuff. So go ahead and check those links out in the description below. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. Also visit Craigle Publishing and give them some love on their social media sites. I'll include those links below. And if you're interested in more reviews on these books and you want to get other families' opinions, I'll also include the link below to my Homeschool Review Crew page where you can see many other reviews of these products by my other reviewers who have also used these in their homeschool. So go ahead and check those out and thanks for tuning in and God bless.